Hey there everyone, this is Yui. Welcome to episode 4 of Manufactio. Today we're going to try to aim towards dealing with the pollution a little bit. So, let's get to it. Uh, between episodes, if I remember to show it or not, I did some transforming outside in order to kind of just make it a little better for the pollution control. So if we just step outside here, that's what we got. It's just a little fenced-in area, bunch of trees, and grass blocks. Lots of them. That way uh, we can mow the lawn all the time. Okay, out of the way, rabbit. And doing so reduces the pollution and trees to, you know, further reduce it. All that fun stuff. Storage is here. Storage is stored in my capsule. I don't know if I showed that last time or not. But basically, I have my entire storage with me almost at all times. I leave it here when I'm not using it. But what we need to do is grab some of these guys. I made a few. Uh, I don't think I have any more going. I might have had iron going. Yeah. A little bit of that. How are you doing? You're doing okay. I just hop her in a bunch of seeds. Keep the bio generator going. Uh, connecting the wires. This one's connected first. So it should use that one before it uses this one, but this one still gets used up, so I don't know. It seems to change. But let's go ahead. So here's what I want to do. Down in the science area, there is this basic filtering. So I want to get here. But in order to get basic filtering, we need a respirator, so let's do that one first. Detect. Flame. We don't actually need a respirator because our chunks are not that bad yet. We need machine processing, which is in... Not here, no. Right here, which means we need steel processing, which is in factory... Yep, right here. So we gotta do this one. Let's turn this one in. Pull aim that. That'll unlock some stuff. Green, I don't know if we need that yet. Might I I don't know. Okay, so back to here. Machine processing, we need fifty. Okay, that's all of them. Let's grab that. This one. Metal press. Oh, that'll be so useful. Are you going to run the script? Did it automatically? I think it automatically did it. Alright, so back to here. So let's see, what do we actually need? Red 25 and green 25. Uh, carbon. So it only filters basic carbon filter. I don't know if that's the one we're doing, but let me go ahead and gather up this research. Alright, and I am changing my mind. Instead of focusing on filtering first, uh, we need a few things before we get that far. Mainly to make... Go back here, and we look up... Uh, where is it? Right here. These green guys. Uh, in the assembler. Basic is what we're using. Oh, I've noticed when you look at this here, it says doesn't get consumed. So you need one to make one. So I guess that's to lock in the recipe, if I had to guess. But that goes for all of those that I've seen so far, where it uses it to make itself. Anyways, uh, we need conveyor belts and inserters. And these require a ton of gears. And that's just iron. And the other one is, I think, more gear, right? Over here, here... Uh, there's just a conveyor belt uh yep more gears so we need lots of gears <laughs> lots and plates actually this was the cheapest recipe right here technically once you get the metal press because you can make a gear gear for two plates a plate you make with one iron so three iron gets you conveyor which is significantly cheaper because the price in half 
So that's what we're going to aim for, but in order to make steel to make the parts for the metal press, there we go, we need creosote, which is here. Creosote, well, technically we don't need creosote, we need the coke oven, but the quest is creosote. So we're going to get this one. This coke oven, which is probably Blue's favorite multi-block in the game, is um, highly dangerous. It creates a lot of pollution. So I have set up a little area far away, which is where this is going to go. But before that, we actually need the parts for it. So we can't make regular blast bricks for the steel part, but you can make the reinforced ones, which is just the hardened stone brick and the iron ingot. And that just goes in the assembler here. It's actually pretty quick to make. It takes a lot of power though. See, there it goes. That was one done. And so there we go. I have all of them. I put, I put 26 in beforehand. I have not checked out this one, which is for the Coke oven, as we need this. Oops. There. Oh, which means we need clay, and I spent all of my clay on hempcrete. Because <laughs> uh, I just like the stuff, I guess. I'm fairly certain I don't have clay. There, I got two pieces. Yep. <laughs> Great. I'm curious to try something. I might uh, grab this capsule and grab my thing and go up to the top and see if you can uh, throw pollution in the capsule and just dump it somewhere else. <laughs> it's a... Uh, uh... It's such a uh, industrial thing to do, I guess. Dump your pollution elsewhere. <laughs> but I kind of want to try it just to see if it works. Anyways, I need to get clay and then I'll meet you. Actually, I'm going to get the clay. I'm going to craft these up. It's, it's the same recipe as normal. It's nothing special. And then I'll meet you over that way in the distance. You can't see squat from here because it's too far away. But there's a little building over there and that's where we're going to set up. Uh, there's the building, by the way. It's just a tiny little thing over there. Um, I'm still cooking up uh, the clay into bricks, but I'm over here where I gather my resources, and up here there's a bunch of pollution, so I put down a capture base. I've got my thing. Let's find out together, shall we? Oh, you can. <laughs> oh, it's great. That means I could just go and uh, dump this somewhere else. Anywhere else, it doesn't really matter where. <laughs> uh, so there you go. If you uh, are struggling a little bit keeping up with your pollution, uh, just uh, put in a capsule and move it. Oh. Actually, can you... Can you clear these? Oh, you can. So you could just delete it. So there's pollution in here, that's all that's in here, and, and now it's an empty capsule. So there we go, I just deleted a bunch of pollution. Oh, that's, that's a little cheaty. A little cheaty, but, you know. If you're struggling with it, there you go. Oh. Where'd my torch go? Oh, you're such a butt. Anyways, I'll be back. All right, so I got the pieces. Was it the uh, coke bricks and the reinforced blast bricks? Got my hammer. I still, <laughs> I still love the idea of just. Oh no, you go away. You are not welcome. Oh shit! Yeah. Sometimes these mobs in this pack are so much harder to hit. So much. I need more experience. Hey, it's a horse. Is that my horse? Is that the horse I lost a long time ago? I thought you died. Are you really? Are you? Yeah. <laughs> oh. Oh. That's funny. Because uh, for some reason, whenever you get off the horse, they disappear and you have to re-walk to see them. I thought that horse got shot and killed. Because there's a gunfight, it was invisible, and yeah, I, I didn't know it was still alive, and there it is. Wow, okay. Anyways, in here I've got tiny little rooms, and a little ventilation hole. I, uh, I'm not sure how well this is going to hold up, but we'll find out.
So we just need our simple three by three by three structure. And I have room upstairs for another. That way, uh, why not just pollute the same chunk? It'll make uh, filtering it easier, maybe? I don't know. And then we just need our hammer. Right click. There we go. And up here. Same thing. Oh no, uh, for this. This is the improved one. Let's grab our storage. I love how you can just pull these things from way over there. We need a hopper. Uh, hoppers are in here. Oh, and uh, it gives you a recovered thing when you craft it over. So this is gone after one deployment, but my pollution is in here. So I can go dump that somewhere else. Doesn't matter where. I want to go to like coconut and blue's base I can cuz I ooh get out of here They'll never know they have so much pollution over there I think Go away Although blue has a tendency to watch the videos pretty quickly so he'll know this trick <laughs> Okay, so we need, like I said, a hopper. Hopper goes on the top, in the middle. And let's just do that. There. And then right click, and there we go. I should have moved that over, shouldn't I? Eh, it can happen later, because uh, you put the little... There's a quest for it. These guys. Unlocks creepers. Why would I want to do that? But it puts the, uh, the heaters in there so that the blast furnace is significantly more efficient. But to get started, all we're going to do is come over here somewhere down here. Yep, yeah, there we go. Let's crap a stack of coal. Because I've got a ton of the stuff. Throw it in here and let it go. This is going to take forever, but we need that. And look, it's already gone. Holy smokes, that's a lot so quick. Why? It's not even been running for a minute and look at it build up. Go over there. Go that way. Mm, yep, we need a bigger, <laughs> a bigger ventilation hole, I guess. Uh, rip this chunk. And there are the surrounding ones. There we go. One one found its way out. Let's stash our bread. And apples. Uh, make sure you use the hunger thing if you don't. It is it is very nice. Oh man. <laughs> man, that's too much. Way too much. For just oh yeah. One one block is going to Cause more pollution than running a stack of coal through the uh, drills, it seems. But that's what we need to do, because we need steel. And once we get steel, we can make the press, which means we can make stuff cheaper. Do this note. Uh, make sure you do your zombie hunting, because you can uh, get a bunch of different ammos, and it helps a lot. Or creepers, if you're, <laughs> if you're so inclined. Look at the twitching guy. That's great. Anyways, I guess it's a waiting game now. I I need I need to wait for so once this finishes you get a block of the coal coke. And then you take that, you take a block of iron, throw it in the blast furnace. Although depending on the efficiency, always put one extra block of iron than you do coal coke. That way in case there's extra or more efficient. Uh, you save the heat basically because if you run out of iron the heat goes away but if you run out of cold coke it maintains the progress if that makes sense anyways be back in a bit all right so change of plans once again uh that little building 
Uh, put simply, that tiny hole that was in the corner for the Coke oven. Uh, yeah, the Coke oven. It was too small. It ended up polluting inside the building. And once it ran out of room, it destroyed one of the blocks to place the pollution down. So I have changed it up. I've given it a big wide open area. And I am just capturing the pollution up there. Uh, for now, I might as well just use the capsule trick. At least until... Until I can uh, filter it. I don't know. We'll see. But I actually do want to... So there are, let's see here, let's pull them out real quick. There's a chimney mod. All right, it gives you chimneys, it gives you vents, and it gives you pumps. All different types of blocks, so choose, uh, the pumps are a little more expensive, they take redstone. I guess that's not that bad, actually. But I don't know what the pumps do. The vents will let the pollution flow uh, horizontally, so sideways. And the chimneys will let the pollution flow upward. So uh, it has the effect if you put a chimney on top of a coke oven. Basically, unless the chimney gets clogged, it will always put the pollution out right here. Which is uh, predictable. So you can do it for your drills, your furnaces, your multi-blocks. And basically what that will let you do is move the uh, pollution to wherever you want. And so, yeah, I'll play around with that later. But for now, I've got a decent amount of steel. I toss the hopper on top, and this is one block's worth. We'll get you 60. Uh, now, the problem is, is we don't have tanks, but uh, <laughs> I dug a hole, <laughs> and I've been filling it with Korea, so it's not the best solution. But it's a solution. So let's just grab this stuff. Uh, let's put this away. And I made the pieces for four. Uh, possibly four. Except I lost the heavy. Or did I not make the heavy? It's one or the other. I think I didn't make them. That's redstone. I made these. Let's grab steel. And just... Double check, heavy, we double click here, uh, that's not what it's supposed to do, but okay, I don't, it. oh well, that's fine, we need, what, was that gold? Electrum. Okay, never mind. We're putting a pause on that again. Uh, so we need Electrum. We also need Bronze or Brass or one of the two. So we need to get... First things first is this. 20 research. Do I have it? 28 I sure do. Let's grab this. Because we need to make the alloy kiln. Let's see. What's this take? Alloy... No. No. Here we go, these. Uh, bricks and sandstone. Uh, do I have any left? I don't think so. So, let me go start smelting stuff and I'll be back. Alright, so... Kiln bricks. Pretty simple. Bricks, sandstone. Uh, the problem is... For me, at least. Electrum needs silver. Right here, silver. And, uh... I've been checking so many chunks. Yo, a lot of these are empty. So if there's nothing there, it's probably empty. But I found one silver. One. Way up here. So, I got a few silver. Uh, silver seems to be pretty rare, along with gold. I found, what, two gold? And what, a couple lead maybe? Lead's pretty rare. Lead, gold, silver, so, yep. You might have to look around a lot. Uh, my thing's almost out of power. I might, yeah. Okay, I was gonna say, you could probably charge it in the bio generator, which you can. So there you go. This, we're just gonna set up here for now. I think I'm going to do another a redesign of the base, 
using chimneys and filters and pumps to move pollution around to where I want it to go. But in the meantime, I'm just going to set this up here and hammer. I need a hammer. That's just a simple two by two. Let's grab our hammer, set it up. Yeah, so from what I've found is the vents or the chimneys can pull straight out of the block. Uh, the pumps go underneath it. So if I want to do this furnace, I'd have to get rid of this hopper, but I could do a chimney or vent on the side. Uh, for these modular machines, uh, it's the power input where you got to worry about. But, you know, it's something to do. Oh, where'd my silver go? There it is, okay. And let's see what one of us, one of these gets us. No idea. I don't know if this is eight operations or if it'll do four. It's not looking like it'll do eight. We'll find out. I only need uh, one, I need two pieces, that's all. And there. All right, good enough. We'll just let that go. Then we need steel, pistons, and, oh, I need more pistons. Steel. Uh, pistons are down here. Not two. Nope, I need two more. I need some of this. Nope, not that. Not quite that. No one wants polluted earth. Uh, redstone, iron. Good. And a couple extra just for fun. There we go. Alright, so we should have everything we need. I set up a bunch of stuff here. All facing the same direction. I put all these on. Hammer goes. Put the piston here, then right click it on the side. There we go. And last one. Perfect. Then these all need power. Which is here. I need more coils. And I need the LV things. Where are those at? I don't have very many. A relay? Do I have a relay? Relay, I need a connector. So I need this here. Something like that. Which one are you? That'll work. Then we can get rid of these. This will be so much better. Here we go. Plates. Ears. And that. And then, uh, I don't know. I think there might be another one I need. For some reason, I always remember needing four. But we'll deal with that later. And we just need to power it from the top. And jump up there. And I don't think I can chain these together. I totally forget. It's been a while. Nope. Which means not this. Actually, you know what? It doesn't matter. Because, like I said, I'm probably going to just be redesigning the base on the ground. That uh, and go. That way I can uh, make use of the chimneys and all that stuff to move the pollution to where I want to so that way when we get filters and stuff in the future we just need to plop them down in one place instead of worrying about a bunch of different machines everywhere. Especially since they are so cheap to make. Because if you look at them like this, here are six blocks to get eight of them. Uh, four of those gets you that and then the pump is the most expensive one which needs redstone and coal. So, pretty simple. Let's connect all this up. Nope, these are bound somewhere. 
Kyoko. Okay. Whatever. Then you. And I don't think that'll work. Just the fun part, huh? Here. We'll, we'll round it down there and probably electrocute ourselves. Good enough. Everyone's got power. Now I should be able to. This is the plate. They do that. Oh, yes. Look at it go. Well, let's do some testing here. I don't use immersive engineering uh, conveyors very much, which I believe are what these are. Just reskinned. So can I? Okay. Well, first let's let's try this. Because this should push it off the edge. And a magnet. Mm, turn that off. No, not that. Let's just grab it for a second. I want to see if this works. Ooh, I almost just killed myself. <laughs> Actually, it's not. Oh, well, no, never mind. I'm going to say it's not lethal, but uh, it's not lethal from the bottom floor. Up here? I don't know. Eh, it's kind of okay. I think what we can do, though, is... Oh, at least until I unlock the, uh... Better... How much are they? There's logistics or something. Uh, 20. I don't have 20 just yet. There we go. Because this should push it. Uh, yeah, that's good enough. At least I know. And we can make gears for just two of those. Oh, that's the best part right there. Oh, it's so much cheaper now. I love it. And I don't have to wait so long. And I imagine power-wise is cheaper? I'm not sure. But there we go. That'll get us plates, gears, all the stuff we need. So now... <laughs> I think I'm going to wait on filtering. Oh, what's this? Oh, I want that. I want that. Or this. Either is good. Watermill. Oh. What does this take? Oh, man. 50. 50 inserters and 50 conveyors. <laughs> oh. You know what? I'm gonna. It's still late though. Oh, I want this. I'm gonna grind it. I'm gonna grind out these 50 things. So I'll be back. Alright. So, a few things to note is you can hopper into the presses uh, for at least the uh, plate and the wires. You can't do the gears because it takes two plates to do, I guess. I don't know. I just toss those on top. Uh, you can pick up automatically with chests. That's a, a normal thing. Uh, this guy takes forever to run, but I did get my my research. It takes a while to make these things. And a ton of energy. Uh, 50... Nope, not that one. This one. 50,000 energy per pack. Which is a lot. And they take a while. So, build them up. So the one I'm going to unlock is going to be power. I think I'm going to go with the water wheel because I just like it better. I haven't actually... Actually, you know what? Let's see here. Immersive. Does it tell us the values here? Oh, what am I looking for? There might be power stuff in here, but I don't see it. Aside from this, the wire transfer rates. Oh, well, that's fine. We'll just go with the water one because you could put three of them on a single dynamo or what do you call it? A uh, kinetic. Yeah, kinetic dynamo. So we'll go with the water one. Detect. 
flame. And let's see how bad this is. Water. Water is... I used all my treated wood up, so I don't really have any. But it looks like it's the standard recipe. So what I'm going to do between episodes is I'm going to actually tear this entire place down. Tear down all the stuff over there. And probably over there, which I actually I don't think I ever showed you. So let's just uh, run over there real quick. But like I said, I'm going to tear it down, find a new place, find some villages along the way. That way uh, I'll just set up somewhere else using the vents and the chimneys and all that fun stuff. That way I can move the pollution around to where I want it to instead of it just going, going up in the air. Yeah, over here. This giant building. <laughs> it's a, um, uh, I would say it's a failed experiment. Pretty failed. Because these things suck. So, um, this used to be one of those. And one of those contains a ton of spawners. Eh, as you can see there. That's not all of them. But the spiders, they spawn, they come at you, they fall. Uh, usually to their death, but sometimes they do that. And that's the problem. I was trying to trying to grind them for experience and loot bags and stuff, but it's just, they're too annoying to deal with. So I might try something else in the future. The experience on them sucks. So, I don't know. But anyways, I will, like I said, relocate by next episode. Hopefully, if Replay Mod is playing nicely, I'll have a time lapse of it. If not, it'll be a total waste of time. <laughs> so we'll find out. Anyways, that's going to be it for this episode. So if you made it this far, thanks for watching. And we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.